have the tables turned? KUAM brought you the story about the half-a-day bingo center and a complaint they lodged with the Guam Police Department, prompting an internal affairs investigation into officers there. But attorney Curtis Vandeveld is calling their bluff. The police acted professionally. They acted uh, politely to everyone who was there. There was nothing that any of the police officers did that was in any way inappropriate. And they are being unfairly and unreasonably tarnished. Vandeveld represents Juan Sun Min, the owner of Asia Pacific Ventures Guam LLC and 3W LLC. She also holds the sublease with the Guam Greyhound where bingo operations were held. However, as of July 25th, this is where and when Michael Marisigan, a paid independent contractor managing the Bingo Center for Guam Shriners, says they were kicked out and operations were stopped. Today, Vandeveld shared his client's version of events, one that includes four bad checks, totaling in nearly $67,000, all signed by Alfred Leon Guerrero, the president of the Guam Shrine Club, Hoffede Bingo. The checks were made out to men for reimbursement of operating funds, reimbursement for invoices, and 70% profit shares were either returned for insufficient funds or returned for stopped payment. To strain the relationship even further, Leon Guerrero sent Min a letter terminating a five-year contract on August 31st, a week from today. How they could be surprised that this relationship is going to come to an end and that they're not going to be able to occupy premises they don't own is shocking. I think even any basic adult would understand if you don't own premises, you don't pay for them, you don't get to use them. Vandeveld says Marisigan gave up his share of the joint venture he had with Min at Asia Pacific One, but Marisigan says any documents he signed led him to believe he was dissolving the company. Is that part true that you had given up your share of the company? Yes, yes, I have. And, you know, it's a big mistake on my end um, because I was led to believe that that company will be dissolved along with that signature. Vandeveld says his client feels wronged and was being forced out of the partnership. But for now, Marisigan says they just want to get bingo operations going again so the employees can get back to work and they can continue raising money to help kids in need. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Valerie Maigay.